of attacking cars and vans because they have a habit of crossing over lines. They're not very good at staying in their lane, so a corner is a very bad time to pass because they can just drift over and sandwich you. today but you know you got you need you need you, confidence is a part of safety if you're unconfident on a motorcycle that's a sure way to have an accident confidence will help get you out of a tricky situation you really need confidence in corners because uh, you know like one of the number one causes of accidents with motorcycles is when they when they go into a corner and they're unsure of themselves so they panic it's called panic braking so when you, you enter a corner too fast and you think to yourself, oh, oh shit, I can't do this corner, it's too, I'm going too fast, so then they brake. But when you brake on a motorcycle, the motorcycle goes straight. So they end up, uh, they end up going straight on a corner, which usually means going into the oncoming lane and possibly the oncoming shoulder. I've done it a couple times. I, I did it when I first started riding a sports bike. Yeah, actually, I, I can remember specifically, the very first time I rode a, 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 a racing bike in Taiwan was a, a TZR250, which is a two-stroke. It's an awesome bike. I love, I love 250 two-strokes. I would own a 250 two-stroke if they were legal in Taiwan. And if you, but you need to live somewhere with twisty roads, because their top, their top speed is, is very low. But uh, from zero to, zero to 150 kilometers an hour, they're, they're the fastest bike, period. Like, give me a break. They're just, because they're so light, you know? You, you, you have the power of a 600cc four-stroke, debatably, and you have the agility of, like, of nothing, nothing. You know, like, there's nothing that compares to the agility of a 250cc two-stroke, except for maybe a 150cc two-stroke, but with a 150, you really don't have the power. But, uh, yeah, uh, I remember the first time I was riding a 250cc two-stroke race bike, I went up into the mountains, and pretty much, like, the first sharp corner where everybody was going fast, I just went, I just went, vroom, straight into oncoming traffic and the oncoming shoulder. And then the guy in front of me says to me, he's like, um, <laughs> later on he goes to me, he goes, you know, you really shouldn't do that. And I'm like, you think? <laughs> yeah, I know I shouldn't do that. It's just not that easy taking corners at a full lean at high speed when you, it's your first time riding the bike. It's my first time on that bike, and it was my first time on that road, so. It took me a while to get the hang of it. Um, what I finally did was I just got myself behind a, a bike that was bigger and heavier than me, and I said to, I kept saying to myself, okay, whatever this guy does, you can do. Your bike is more agile, your bike is more, you know, you can turn better, you can brake quicker, you can, anything this bike can do, um, maneuverability-wise, you can do better. So just, just do whatever he does. And when he entered a corner at 60 kilometers an hour, I entered at 60. When he entered a corner at 80, I entered it at 80. And it felt way too fast for me. So I just, I saw his bike going at down, down, down at a greater angle. I'm running a red, but I got a bus as a blocker, so. Um, yeah, so yeah, and, and you know, the greater his turn angle, I just matched his turn angle. And I knew that I could match it because my bike was lighter than his. You know, it, it wouldn't hold true if I was like riding a Harley and trying to like match the lean angle of a CBR or something. But on a 250, you can you can rest assured that there's there's nothing on the road that's more agile than you. And I like the scream of a two-stroke. I like scream periods. I like scream periods. I like screams, period. You know, just in general. Little kids, dogs, you name it. <laughs> if it's screaming, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a good mood today.